Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel SSS Selector. This video shows a cone which has a radius 10 cm and height 24 cm. And this cone is cut into two parts from the vertex till the middle of this, like this. And you have to find out the surface area of both the parts. Let's see how we can solve this question. To solve this question, first of all, we have to calculate the slant height. This is a 90 degree angle, radius is 10, height is 24. So slant height will be under root R square plus H square, which is Pythagoras theorem. Radius is given as 10, height is 24. The square of 10 is 100, the square of 24 is 576 and the sum will be 676, the square root of 676 is 26. So the slant height of this cone is 26 and we can calculate the slant height with the help of Pythagoras triplet. This is 2 into 5, this is 2 into 12, so the slant height will be 2 into 13, that is 26. Now let's come to this part, which is half of the cone. We have cut the cone into two parts. Now what is this part, this area? This part is, this surface is a triangle. This surface is a triangle. Triangle with uh, base as 20, because the radius is 10, so this is the diameter, which is 20. And the height is 24. the height from this to the center is 24. You can draw the height like this. This height is 24. This height is 24. So this is uh, the curved surface area of half cone. This is the area of base of half cone and this is the area of triangle. So each part consists of each part consists of three parts, three surfaces. One is half of cone, curved surface. Then half of base, which is circle, half circle, semicircle and then a triangle. So surface area will be the curved surface area of half cone plus area of base plus area of triangle. Curved surface area is 1 by 2 pi RL as the surface area, curved surface area of a cone is pi RL. Here we have half of the surface, so we have written half pi r l. Area of base is half of pi r square and area of triangle is half base into height. Now let's write down the value of pi as pi only. The radius is, the radius of the cone is 10 and the slant height is 26. So if you cancel out this, you get 130 pi. Now half pi r square, let's write down as pi. Radius is 10. So this is 5, 5 tens of 50 pi. And half base into height, base of the triangle is 20. And height is 24, this triangle. So if you cancel out this, you get 240. When you add this two, we have 180 pi plus 240. So area of curved surface area, total surface area, sorry, total surface area of each part will be 180 pi plus 240. 180 pi plus 240 is the area of this cone as well as this part is also 180 pi plus 240. So both the parts are 180 pi plus 240. Now if we compare the surface area with the original 
surface original cone surface area of the original cone then that will be equal to pi r l plus pi r square pi r l plus pi r square pi radius is 10 l is 26 pi radius is 10 square so this will be 260 pi plus 100 pi that is 360 pi so the area of original cone is total surface area of original cone is 360 pi while the area of uh, two parts individually are 180 pi plus 240 so this 240 is the extra surface area that is the triangle so i hope friends you like this video please like our videos and subscribe to our channel